Matt and my rotary dipole antenna set on tripod and I am operating uh, from uh, Kathmandu uh, from uh, Kathmandu view 3 my quick was here 99 she wants Charlie Alpha Yeah, BO3 Mike Eco Sera from 9 and 1 CA returning QSL on that. Uh, yeah, you also come very fine, very, very fine here. And just I set my rotary dipole antenna on tripod. I got 5 and uh, 7 to 5 and then that. What is your working condition? What is your working condition? BO3 Mike Eco Sera from 9 and 1 CA over. Yeah, last hour you almost uh, touched the 5 9. I don't know. I'm using uh, L set halfway and the which is around. Uh, Yeah, B3 Mike Eco Sera from 9 in 1 CA. Yeah, you are, you are, you came also as strong for now. A 5 9 in last over. Yeah, very strong. And uh, actually, nowadays I'm not coming regular on band. Uh, I am for a few months here in uh, Kathmandu, I think uh, two months. And then uh, uh, only I'll go to my regular uh, QPS regular setup. So I came here for one training, I brought my all the portable setup along with me. So whenever I get the time, I will set up my systems and then come on here. Uh, BO3 Mike Eco Sera from 9 and 1 CA Hello, brother. 9 and 1 CA Charlie Alpha, BO3 Mike Eco Sera. QSL, QSL, and that I don't understand you are in with your mind, you see us in Kathmandu. Yeah, BO3 Mike Eco Sierra from 9 and 1 Sierra returning QSL on that. Last Friday, last Friday I came on band with my the same portable setup, but due to the storm on solar system, it was very bad condition, very bad propagation condition on 20 meters. So I have only few QSO on last Friday. Uh, but on 40 meter it was okay with some local stations uh, from uh, BU land some local stations and I think again this Friday again there will be a storm so very difficult uh, normally I'll get time on uh, Friday and Saturday so Friday evening and Saturday morning time but uh, unfortunately uh, for two weeks there was a solar storm so very difficult to uh, get the uh, long distance stations uh, on 20 meter uh, so how is the 40 meter? Uh, how is the 40 meter in the morning time? BO3 Mike Eco Sierra from 9 and 1 CA over. 9 over 1 Charlie Alpha BO3 Mike Eco Sierra. Uh, QSL Narun, uh, can you repeat the last part of your over? I could not get you a question because uh, uh, suddenly the conditions are changing. I think uh, you go down into the noise. Uh, can you repeat the last part of your question? 9 over 1 Charlie Alpha BO3 Mike Eco Sierra. Yeah, BO3 Mike Eco Sierra from 9 and 1 CA. Uh, I asked that how is the 40 meter band on morning time? A uh, 40 meter band condition in the morning time nowadays, over. Well, the 40 meter is working fine, but uh, usually we have the morning uh, speed between north and uh, south. North and south uh, India. Uh, I, uh, after around uh, 7.45, uh, the band is opening. 7.30, 7.45, the band is opening. Mm -hmm. Yeah, BO3 Mike Eco Sierra from 9 and 1 Sierra returning QSL on that. Normally, I used to come on 40 meters and uh, 705 and 1 and around 6 o'clock whenever I was on my morning QTS. Uh, but uh, due to my morning QTS QRL, now I am in the Kathmandu, so I am not able to come in the early morning. 
and so only maybe I'll get the time then I'll be trying on uh, Saturday on a Saturday morning but uh, it is not fixed uh, but uh, from south to north and uh, uh, to Nepal uh, in the morning time uh, around 6 o'clock uh, at 40 meters is a regular opening and uh, we used to talk with uh, view to RJD uh, yours and uh, other uh, so, uh, station from uh, south. Uh, beauty Mike is for Sierra from 3 Mike Eco Sierra from 9 and 1 Sierra returning. QS along that, yeah, BU2 RJ they have G5 RB antenna and he is using a more power, I think 8 900 or kilowatt. So, normally I used to copy a signal very well, uh, very well from a starting. From a starting, we can say that from uh, three years before, uh, I, I was able to copy signals regular on 40 meter band. Uh, otherwise, other stations are very weak. And yesterday I was listening Belgam Net through Wave SDR. Uh, Wave SDR. So I was missing the moment uh, uh, in the morning time. Yeah, you are right that I came here in Kathmandu almost two weeks before and then after I am not available on band. U3 Mike Eco Sierra from 9 and 1 CA. Over. And I know Charlie Alpha U3 Mike Eco Sierra. QSN Darola. After the day is running a kilowatt, you know, and we are on 90. Yeah, BU3 Mike Eco Sierra from 9N1C returning QS alone. That yes, uh, you are absolutely right. If the band condition is uh, well, then the few watts, only few watts is uh, very uh, more sufficient that more than sufficient uh, for long distance. And uh, just to share with you, uh, last month I think, or uh, one month before, I was with only two watts, only two watts, and I was reaching to North America to Australia. Uh, what uh, only two watt and the same the rotary dipole antenna so these all things depends upon the propagation condition uh, view uh, three mike eco sierra from 9 and 1 ca over But but one thing certain I wanted to share with you when I was operating the QRP2 art with the rotary dipole antenna, I was not on the mountain, I was in the plain area. The altitude is just 170. 170, 170 meters from the sea level. So that is a not uh, a high altitude, only 170 meters. Uh, but yes, it was away from the city, so away from the city, so very low uh, QRM and QRM. Uh, but it was really uh, amazing for me as well, and uh, I was getting with 2 watt, uh, 2 watt uh, with. Uh, North America, not only with the stand, with the other uh, one uh, Yankee Lima, uh, one Yankee Lima, and uh, another station as well. Uh, with the simple uh, rotary dipole, that is the uh, compromise antenna with the loading coil, only 10 feet uh, in left side and 10 feet in right. A rotary dipole antenna, I was getting such reports from them. Uh, BU3 Mike Eco Sierra from 9 and 1 CA. Over, over. Over, over. 9 and 1 CA. Over, over. 9 and 1 CA. Over, over. 